I want to talk about, uh, you know, I don't want to spend too, too much time. Like I actually think we covered a lot of this on Monday with the Deshaun Watson thing, but there's been some updates uh, to the point we even had Mike Flurio from Pro Football Talk. He was on Dan Patrick this morning, and he said that he asked around around the Browns. He said he didn't get an answer, but that no answer told him the answer about did they know about this prior, uh, you know, new uh, suit, uh, I guess civil suit that's coming out. Uh, and all the Browns trying to pave a way to get up out this deal. Uh, Courtney, just tell us what, what, what you know about the situation and what everything that's been going on. I mean, listen, it all comes down to what I've said previously it to what many people have said before. I'm not some like bold new mind that came up with something new. The Browns thought they were getting a fucking steal in Deshaun Watson. They were okay with getting Deshaun Watson and the baggage that came along with him as long as they were getting a top tier talent. He's not a, clearly not the top tier talent that they expected him to be. And that's why it's okay. Again, Dante said it. I wouldn't be surprised if they were the ones who put it out there so they can try to free themselves of this, which again, they shouldn't absolve themselves of, of anything because if any, they, they, oh, it's so frustrating to me to just like, oh, well, we had no, yeah. Like Mike Florio said, silence uh, is everything. It tells you everything you need to know. The Browns absolutely knew about it. And it's so frustrating to me that we're going to like keep going through this with this man until something happens. He should not have the privilege of playing freaking in, in the National Football League. I'm sorry. Just like Trevor Bauer in Major League Baseball. I'm yeah. sorry. You're done. That's a privilege. Yeah. You you lost that privilege. And I agree, too. It's also kind of what uh chris long said he said the messed up part is we only having this conversation because he's been bad on the field correct yeah. that's the worst part about it if he was if he was balling out would we we be wouldn't be talking about him yeah correct. yeah it would be it would just be you know put under the rug and we'd all be well. haters we'd yep. all be haters because god forbid that a man be held liable and responsible for fucking sexually abusing women that's crazy yeah. crazy I I think to me, man, I think the main thing for me, I've been against this from the moment and like from the negotiation stage, like to see all these teams so thirsty for Deshaun Watson was what was crazy to me. And the thing, too, I we all know about Deshaun and how that is. I don't want the Browns to get away with this. I want to keep the light on these niggas. Like, y'all don't get any moral compass that they're going to try to swing this into or we didn't know about this and we care about the victims. No, you're just doing this because the And even stinks. the NFL, the NFL, absolutely, their hands are dirty too. Yeah. Like, it's just, it's just so disheartening to me. And I, as a woman, right, and especially with so much female viewership now is comprised of women, it's just like, wow, that's really what you, that's really low key what you, high key what you think about us. Right. It's just, it's wild to have to acknowledge that reality as a fan of the sport. Yeah, 100%. And, and I think I want to touch on this what Orlando said. So the Cubs did it with Chapman. Unfortunately, talent trumps morale. I even know some people who are Cub fans, men and women, have said that that part of the run is very, you know, choppy for them is is, is what is how they feel about it. Um, Mike Dante, the Rangers with Chapman last Rangers, season, too. Rangers Chapman again too. Exactly, Mikey Dante. Any, any any take on this? We move on to the Jets. I just think it's. I agree that the play, like the juice, is not worth the squeeze right now for what you're getting on the field and for what the you know the hit that they took publicly, um, and the hit that they're going to continue to take until this gets resolved. But it's a very very difficult situation obviously because of the allegations but i will keep it to just the on-field part the moment you cut bait with him and you demote him or you, you release him whatever that is a total organizational failure in which their gm who just got an extension this off this off season their president of football off everybody needs to go so you're you really have to sit and and, and digest this and make sure that you're making the right decision because this can go ahead and send them right back to being the mistake on the lake and being completely irrelevant in football. And that can be a total sell off of talent. I've seen the I've seen them discuss a possible Miles Garrett trade. 
down the road if the if the Browns don't you know um, don't don't shake out and that's something the Bears might be interested in. A lot, every team's gonna want to pile up for him, but just on I would the trade field, my firstborn son and I don't have one for Miles Garrett. Right. <laughs> right, right, right. But just on the field, like the ramifications for this is massive and can be organizational, you know, monumental moment going for going further. So. They really are in a tough ass spot. That's why I feel like all of this shit should have been fucking addressed, you know, before making that move for him. Um, you had to have literally, I would have hired five private investigators to do all of this work because the moment one person comes out with another case, then that's that just. But Mikey, the crazy part though is that the Browns say allegedly that they did just that, that they went above and beyond to do all of this and they were com quote comfortable with what they found and that's the worst yeah. part about it you so you were I mean, okay yeah. with that so you were okay with it but now that he's asked now uh, now, now we gotta talk about it yeah no, man, but that's also why at the end of the day like this this leads into a much deeper darker conversation because like um as i say all the time like fans are worse than groupies in a lot of situations and especially when those fans are law enforcement um, this really should be a non conversation. This man had 28 fucking cases. Why is he even allowed to walk? Why the street? is he around? You feel me? Correct. <laughs> so, when, when you get to a point where, and this is not me shooting Roger Goodell, Adam Silver, any bail, but at the same time, when they are lenient with suspensions, when they don't just flat out kick a player out the league, uh, that on that pressure really shouldn't be on them. It should be on the local law enforcement to actually enforce what's going on and the crimes that these people are committing in the first place, just like you would with any other taxpaying citizen. Like if you've sexually abused 28 women, just because you're rich, it shouldn't be so, okay, well, you get an opportunity to settle out. I understand these were civil cases, but still, if you a league, you look at that and say, all right, bro, you can't play here. Like you can't be here. We don't want you around. So uh, at this point, it's like, like I said, I do think the Browns with their investigators and everything, they kept this in their back pocket, and he's playing like shit. So now it's like, okay, let's get him up out of here. And he's because gonna be you, out. And because you know what, Dante, you know what looks good for the league? Yeah, yeah, this is a terrible hit and all of that stuff. But what does what does Roger Goodell love? A good redemption story. And they thought Deshaun 100%. Watson, and they thought Deshaun Watson was gonna be his play was gonna be what they saw prior to this shit going down, and that he would have came out, they would have been successful, and they can go ahead and and prop him up and prop him up and highlight him. And unfortunately, that's just not what it's been. And I think we're gonna get like I don't think we're gonna get through the full season if the play continues at what it is. He's not gonna be starting, you know, in a, a month from now. Really, so I think we're gonna start. I think we're gonna start getting to those end of days. If his play can elevate and he can actually be decent, then this is you know like Courtney it'll said. Go away. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll go away. Um, but first off, who the fuck shows up to the crib for a date and then just you know ends up on the bed butt ass <laughs> naked? Like a fucking like, predator. A predator. No, yeah, 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 yeah. It's 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 something. It's a something mentally. It, it's something That's mentally. Not normal. Man, it's not no people behavior. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's it's yeah. He needs to You're be. You're fucking deviant. Cool. So Other lines.